In the 2024 playoffs, we've seen the AE1 lows on Anthony Edwards' foot, and we've seen pictures, we've seen a lot of pictures all around um, social media, and I myself was excited, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys was excited, guys. Guys, today here we have the Adidas Anthony Edwards 1 lows MX Gray from the Unsunt Pack. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys here today and of course we do have an on foot. So make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But guys, before we start this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video guys, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you guys haven't yet. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my social will be on the screen and down below in the description box. Now let's dive in straight into these AEs. Alright guys, so start with the box as we always do. We have a black box with um, Anthony Edwards symbol in the front. We have that right here. And as you guys can see, this is how the side look. You have the Adidas logo right here. And on this side right here, you have the logo, Anthony Edwards logo. You have his name, Anthony Edwards. You have um, the city, the state he was born, Georgia. And you have the year, 2001. And also you have the quote, don't follow the wave with Adidas logo right here. With a label ad, this is how it looks. I'll insert the screenshot so you guys can see the label look here in case you guys want to see it. All right guys, so now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoe and talk about some details of the colorway. So first off, this shoe released today, Saturday, um, um, July 20 at retail of 210, available basically in all the stores that have basketball shoes for sale. These are very easy grab. Um, just walk into the mall, Full Locker, Champs, whatever store that have basketball shoes, and you're gonna find them just sitting on the shelf. That's how I grab these. And you know, that's this is a pair that I was really looking forward to, this colorway. Overall, I did tell myself I need me a AE1. Um, I just wasn't too sure which release, which colorway was gonna make me, yeah, I need them right now. And when I seen these, when I seen pictures of these, I was like, yeah, for sure, I need this MX colorway. Alright guys, so now that you guys see it up close, this is the AE1 Low MX Gray Ascent Pack. Let me give you guys a little quick 360 so you guys can see the whole thing up front, up close on camera. And the colorway is sick, very sick, I like it. And as you guys can see, you have the upper in black, you have the mesh upper in black. And then you have the side panels going down. You have that in the MX gray, so it's a TPU on the side panel, and as you guys can see, it has like kind of holes, so it's breathable. The mesh is breathable, and as well, you have the TPU on the side, so make it um, with the holes, make it very breathable for a basketball shoe. And you have the whole MX um, pattern, the gray mixture pattern going all around the shoe, which I think looks pretty nice. On the toe box area, you have this. It kinda um, on the toe box area. You have this area right here, which it is reflective. If you flash um, your flashlight on there, it is reflective. When you go up, you have some black laces going up. You have a woven tongue with um, Anthony Edwards logo right here. And the end, um, the end, the sock liner is woven material as well. You have your insole in black, sock liner in black. You have Anthony Edwards logo as well inside. Behind the tongue, you have the sizing information behind your tongue. On the right pair, I'll just show you guys the inside on the right pair, the insole. So you just have the, um, the Anthony Edwards logo, but on the right pair of the shoe, you have, you don't have the logo, you have the same thing that's on the box. Um, his name, Anthony Edwards, and you have model um, number one, and you have Georgia 2001, and you have the quote, don't follow the wave. So on the right pair, you have all that inside of the Enso, and then on the left pair, you have Anthony Edwards logo. You have them on the back of your heel. Um, be before we go into the Adidas, you have this ca kind of carbon fiber looking thing right here on the back of your heel. You have your pool tab and black. You have the Adidas 3 stripe logo on top of that carbon fiber. Um, the Adidas 3 stripe logo is in like an army green, I'll say, and it feels 3D. Again, you guys should already know that with the AEs. If 
before we before we go to the house of the shoe you guys can see we have the light boost right here i'm not sure the camera could catch it but you guys can see right here we have that again this is adidas so if you guys if this is, a, if this is your first time having an ae like me this is what you're this is what you're getting this is the outsole of the shoe so you have the whole mx pattern on the outsole of the shoe you have rubber um outsole as you guys can see you have adidas logo right here For a $110 basketball shoe, this is a pretty nice pair in my opinion. The way it looks, the colorway, it looks pretty nice and it's going to be very flashy on the court. It's going to look good when you're playing ball or whatever you want to do with this pair if you want to wear it out. And overall, it's going to look good. I do like this MX colorway on the AEs. Again, this is my first pair and I haven't had a chance to test it out on the court yet. Yes, I do play ball. So um, soon, whenever I get a chance to play ball, I am going to put these on my feet to see how it performs. But again, I heard pretty good things about it. I heard it performs very well. So definitely, I'll definitely recommend this if you guys never had an AE shoe and looking for Adidas basketball shoe to play with. So I'll definitely say go ahead and try these out. Um, overall, you guys seen the up close. You guys seen some footage of on foot. Comment below how you guys feel about these. Your rating from 1 to 10. To get the other pair from the Ascent Pack, which is the charcoal one. And the video will be dropped after this as well too. Um, but I do prefer the low top. I feel like the low top of my feet is a little, is a little more comfortable um, compared to the high top. But again, I got to see and break them in and play with both of them to see which one I'm going to like better. But Now that we're done with rating, now let's dive straight into sizing in case you guys do not know what size to go for. So when I was grabbing this pair from the mall, again, this is my first time having this pair, even having, um, even trying it on. So I wasn't just too sure on what size to grab. I asked the employees um, what size they recommend. They had one on their feet and it says true to size is pretty good um, and they go true to size. So um, it does go true to size. I, I went with a size 10. My I, for my size, I go between nine and a half and ten, and ten was perfect for these. Again, I know a lot of ball players like to half up, and if you guys want to to half up to feel a little more comfortable, you guys can try that. But if you guys never had an AE one, I'll definitely recommend to probably go in store and try them on first to see if you guys like the true size or if you guys rather half up, you know, to see how you guys are gonna feel comfortable while playing ball. But definitely, I think the true size is perfectly fine for me, and I just have to see how it is when I'm breaking them in on the court to see if it still feel the same or if I should change sizes. But guys, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, guys, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate the love and support you guys have been giving me. It is Sneakers and Chris. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.